got milk? Not anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry silly. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. It's good to see you, Agent Fox. Ah, Monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factory and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy so many dad jokes. In the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heifer Utterly the Third. Howard Hugh. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. Dude, this game is great. Okay. I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should skip. Let's guess. Poker stick? Okay, first try. I've always wanted to try that. It puts a little bounce in your day. Hmm. So this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Okay. Well. Hey, wanna see my tattoo? Your mother must be so proud. The BM. Believe this is locked if memory serves. Yeah. The door is locked. So we can't just uh, loiter. The door is locked. I guess the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Cantina, dude. Cantina chair. I need to check a thing here. Uh, I probably make an appearance at the Moby. I should probably make an appearance at the mobile. Oh, okay, we'll center. just go off to the left. Five 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 two two nine zero. Two two nine zero. Unapologetically, will admit that I maybe called this number when I was younger. It's so cool. Now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So 
what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the Spy Gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good, because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachma. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the dock. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. Okay. Well, we can cut through the metal wall now, which is cool. It's good for us. Uh, Professor Quack will fill that vending machine up with spy gadgets as soon as he arrives. So make like a doctor and have some. Just all the clickable stuff is pretty nice. All right, now we go back up, and hopefully time has passed. My spy watch is beeping. Spy Fox from Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the mobile command button. Will do. Spy Fox, out. Man's had a smartwatch in like the 90s, dude. It's whack. How do we get time to progress here? Here's where I keep my I need to Hmm. Uh-oh. Normally I would karate chop my way. Let's go, dude. Oh, there's the dude. Now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Hmm. This must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting hotter. The piranha pool can't get any hotter. The piranhas are already sweating, if that's possible. I think we just have to freeze them. Mm hmm. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. <laughs> hmm. Fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. Hold on. You saved me. Thank you, Mr. Um oh. Fox. Fox, Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need to change my pants. You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox. 
All right, just calm down. Why oh, you look so happy right there, man? Start from the beginning and tell us what happened. Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. Tooth and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body's a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing feta cheese. 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 The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers choked me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Spy Fox, someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm. Sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. Okay. Oh, what do we need here? There's so much stuff. Okay. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. Beef flavor? I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. <laughs> a duck needs his fiber. Okay, well, we have a dairy man right here, so let's just do this shit, and then... Now, if you don't come mind, here. Please, I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. Weak. Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. His ticker looks like it needs winding. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. I found the note. Once I find that diode, I can look for that control panel it goes into. Then, William the Kid's milky weapon of destruction will be disarmed. Okay. Okay, well, we have Here's where I keep my This is the putty, right? What does this 
egg-shaped container, Professor Quack. It's putty. This is a little gadget I call the spy putty. It's putty. I was right. Let's go, dude. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm. That looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. Okay, now we've got the putty. Which... Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah! Oh. Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin. Like okay, we don't need that right now. We don't need suction cups right now. What is this? Mm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works. Okay, so that's to break into a safe. What it does the boot do? A shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most Okay, so night vision shoe, which we don't need. Suction cups, coin. I think we're good right now, to be honest. Let's go, it's open. What could anyone possibly do with a whole jar of trinkets? It could be a paperweight. You could make a unique lamp out of it. It could be turned on its side to roll out cookie dough. There must be a million and one uses. I like the jar of trinkets, but I'm wondering if you have them in can. It's uncanny that you would ask me that, because just this morning I... Is that a gelatin mold? Close. It's a sailor's hat. You could always pour gelatin in it, I suppose. Sir, could I interest you in this nice-looking, uh, shoe? What are they called? It has something to do with the sound seltzers make when you plop them into water. Fizz? Yes, exactly. Can I interest you in a nice fizz? How much for the fez? As it turns out, this fez isn't for sale, sir. This is our floor model. In fact, it's been on the floor several times, and we have a dirty floor. There's no telling when I might need one. Okay, we got the sailor hat. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. This is a uh, Spy Fox. Did you not ever play this game? There you go, sir. Why, thank you. It's just one of those like kid problem solving games but it's really fun and I like the art so it's what we're doing hi honey welcome to the cantina I'm B -B. If there's anything welcome I to, to share, cantina like for example sugar you just let me know all right thanks B beat bliss it smells funny this is really good there's like um you played like the backyard games. Drowsiness in alligators. Greetings. Interested in a little game of goldfish, Mr. Fox. Spy Fox. I've been known to play go fish from time to time. And you are? Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game a little more? And place your trinkets on the table and we'll get started. So, you like playing for trinkets, eh? All right, I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. That's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. I'll play with this one. Okay. Got any pens? Go fish, Mr. Fox. God damn it. I forgot how to play go fish. Got any balls? Go fish. Okay, well I, okay, I have two tens, so it's less likely that he has that. Let's ask for two. 
That's right. Fork it over, piggy. Fucking pig. Shit. I hope you are not easily discouraged, sir. Got any Go fish. Okay, well we know he has fours. Go fish. Okay, I know he has fours. Fucking pig. Okay, so he's got queens and he's got kings. What a fun game this is. Got any sixes? We know he has queens and he has kings. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any eights? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any sixes? You motherfucker. Oh. Nines. You motherfucker. Got any jacks? Nice try. So he's got jacks, queens, and kings. Four. Four. You fucking pig bastard. Oh my god. My match made in heaven, sir. I'm about to lose this bot. Nines. Go fish. Nines, jacks, kings, queens. He's got uh, literally every other face card. Five? Go fish, sir. No, he has every face card, I should say. Give me a got any jacks? Nope. Go fish. <sighs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Go fish. Got any five. You fucking pig bastard. Got any threes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Threes, sevens. Give me this shit. Nines. I'll just take those off your hand. Fork them over, picky. Got any tens? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Don't know. Give me your jacks. I know you have. Thank you, piggy. God, this is unlucky as fuck. Twos. Not a one, sir. Go fish. Shit. Got any tens? You fucking pig bastard. Uh, how delightful. That gives me a suit, sir. Got any kings? Nice try, but you need to go fish. He's gonna like get one. Give me your queens. queens. That's right. Fork those over, piggy. Well, we're getting hosed right now, Spy Fox, so you might want to come off your high horse. <sighs> Give me it. There we go. Yeah, that's two. Come on, heart of the guards. Damn it. No, go fuck yourself, pig. No, you mother. It's literally chance, dude. No. And you're not drawing a five there. You motherfucker. There's no way. Give me those cards, piggy. Nope. Fuck out of here. Literally, got any five. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any sixes? <laughs> go fish. <laughs> I'm fucked. Got any eights. No, you fucker. 
Oh, I thought I should ask that too. God damn it. Go fish. Oh, he's gonna get it. Sixes. Give it to me. Thank you so much. Even though he's destroying us right now. Give me the jack. Nope. Give me just anything. I literally got cocked. Okay, some jelly beans for some dental floss. Go fish, Mr. Fox. Two. Got any sixes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Okay. Got any twos? A card. Thank you so much. Okay, he does not have kings or twos. Let's ask him got for aces. Aces? No, sir. Go fish. Seven. Okay. Fuck you. Fish. Got any jacks? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any sixes? Go fish. Got any fours? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Nine. Got any jacks? I got any threes. I thought you said you were good at this game. Go fish. Yeah, draw that piggy. Nines? <laughs> Go fish. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Eights. Nice try, but you need Eights, threes, fish. jacks. I know he's got all that. Got any queens? That's right. What fork it over. This is. Got any twos? Go fish, sir. Eights. I know he's got. got ten. Nope. nope. Go fish. I know you have eights. You got any? Fork it over, dude. Let's go. About to make some bacon with you, dude. No, sir. Go fish. Got any fives? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any kings? Go fish, sir. Any kings in the chat? Okay, we got a nine. Got any twos? You motherfucker. He's got only have one. Got any tens? Go oh. fish. Tens, threes, jacks. That's what he has. Got any sevens? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any threes? Go fish. Threes, eight, threes, eights, jacks. Got any nines? <laughs> Go fish. You motherfucker. How? How, dude? Oh, no, that's bad. That's so bad. No way, dude. No way. Jack's threes. Got any aces? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any nines? Fuck, dude. He's gonna ask for fours now. I'm just gonna be fucked. You pig fucker. Got any twos? Nope. Go fish. Twos. Fours. How delightful. My match made in heaven, sir. Got any sixes? No. Nice try, but you need to go. Twos. Threes. Sevens. Ah, yes. Another one for me, sir. Got any kings? No, sir. Go fish. Got any tens? Dude, this is fucked. <laughs> Fours? Nope. Go fish. Two, three, four, eight, Jack. I hope you are not easily discouraged, sir. This is fucked. Got any sevens? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Dude, this is so bad. I've okay, well we got we got that draw. Got any jacks? No. Nice try, he still has that. Dude, we're gonna draw out again. Got any aces? No, sir. Go fish. 
We've run out of hand every time. Okay, come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. This pig. Got any aces? I can't do anything, dude. I can only ask for jacks. Go fuck yourself, pig. I'm taking your jacks. Oh, fork it over. Any sevens in the chat? There we go. You better watch your back, piggy. I'm coming. Don't do it. Don't do it, motherfucker. Don't. Got any sixes? Go fish. Yes, I'm good. This is fucked. Got any jacks? Go fish. This is like legitimately like there is some machine learning thing. Sixes. No? I'm just getting fucked by this guy. He just has a million cards. He can just ask for anything in the deck. Give me that shit. Got any aces? Yes, dude. Let's go. But now we lose something that we can ask for. We're just fucked, dude. Okay, I'll take this. Tense. Don't do it. Don't do it, motherfucker. You mother... Dude, this is fucked. I've given him every card. I'm getting rolled. I'm getting rolled, dude. Yeah, I'm fucking gonna clean you out, dude. Okay. Left to right. Fork it over, piggy. We're gonna go with the small ones first. Okay, no. Okay. Okay, we know he has eight. Jack. Fork it over. Queen. Five and eight, we know he has. Five, seven, eight. Yes. Got any queen? Five, seven, eight. We know he has. Okay, he's got nine. Five, seven, eight, nine. Got any ten? Nice try. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got any twos? Not a one. Okay. You motherfucker. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is bad, dude. Okay. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what we know he has. We know. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe three. He's going to get another suit for free. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Go fuck yourself, pig. Are you kidding me? Got any nine? Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got any queen? Go fish. Got any four? No, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got any five? Okay. Uh, you got any four? Go fish. Four, five, seven, eight, nine. Got any eight? Give me those cards. Four seven eight nine seven. Go fish. Good fuck, dude. Got any Give me your four. Oh. Four seven eight nine ten. Let's ask him for sixes Got again. Sixes. Okay. Four seven eight nine ten. God damn it! How? How? <laughs> There's no. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. Oh my God, dude. Got any queen? Got any seven? Nice try. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or four, seven, nine, ten. Got any threes? Got any twos? No sir. Got any? 
any eight. Yes. This suits me. Got any four? Another one. I love this game. Hmm. Got any ten? Nope. Go fish. Got any queen? Go fish. I've always <laughs> been got any seven. Go fish. Oh, come on, don't ask for threes. Nine. Nice try. Got any threes? Yes, dude. Okay. I love this game. Got any Go fish. Hmm. Yeah, no, he's got ten. You motherfucker. Fuck you, pig. I must apologize. Got any jack? Nope. We are we are getting hosed right now. Got any sixes? Go fish. That's one set. Okay. Taking care of any seven. Go fish. Uh, yes, I'm good. Got any jack? Nice try. Uh, how shall I begin? A match made in heaven, sir. I win. Another three. What? We'll get you another game, sir. What? No, fuck you, pig. Dude, I am legitimately mauled. That is so ridiculous. Excuse me, are you the owner of this boat? I'm James T. Drydock, captain of the SS Winterbrand. Pleased to meet you. My James T. Walk. Bye, bye. Is this rickety old boat of yours seaworthy? Seaworthy? See? Worthy? Of course she's seaworthy. The question is not whether. No need for a disguise here. Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board. Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold edged, wax sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. Damn, that's toxic. It. Asshole. <laughs> yeah. What can you tell me about the doorman over there? He's a real stickler for an invitation, isn't he? Ah, yes. He's amongst Russian Blue's favorite employees, I suspect. If I could only get past him and into that deck party. Forget who has the thing. I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the dock. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. Don't mind me. Copy the invitation, Wally. I'm so impressed that you got an invitation to this fancy deck party. Will you be wearing your tuxedo? No. I have chosen one of my finest all-cotton t-shirts to wear. One that will show off my impressive pectoral muscles. I'm sure. He's literally like an incel. I'd love to take your money, sir, but wouldn't you like to buy... Would you consider selling me your invitation? Of course not. This was sent to me and me alone. I have a feeling I'm going to have to do something sneaky in order to get a copy of that invitation. Night vision shoe. Now, what is this spy gadget used for again? Is it just a snack? Well, that's to blow off the thing on the safe. Hey. Don't know anything 
thinking about that. But do you want to see my tattoo? Okay. That's nuts. Would you mind if I looked at that invitation again? Even the stuffing of this teddy bear is of the finest quality. You know, stuffing is a delicious alternative to potatoes. How much is that cute stuffed kitty you have there? It is a little expensive, sir. But I would be happy to throw in some free stuffed kitty litter. I'd like to purchase that fine stuffed kitty. All right, I'll get it for you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay, now that he is distracted, we have time. Let's go, dude. We've done it. Oh, forget it. I can't sell you that cat. It's still alive. Meow. Did you hear that? Meow. There it was again. We've got the forge thing, dude. Let's go. A meteorite is about to crash into the village. Sir is obviously getting a little desperate. Okay, dickhead. Here's the certificate. This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! The nerve of some people. <laughs> Sheesh! Yay! Let me see that. <sighs> Signed, Russian blue. Oh, sir. We are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How gracious of... What an ass. You will have an enjoyable visit. Yeah, let me up here, dude. So, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox from Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how can we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's the irony in him being we are good at our job. Willie the Kid, and he's a he's a billy goat. It's the Russian Blue. Hello. You must be Russian Blue. Noted the socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadweight. The name's Fox. Spy Fox. What sort of business are you in, if I may ask? Oh, you know the Fox you. As if I'd reveal my business secrets to you. Secrets, eh? You're very elusive, Miss Blue. Of course I'm elusive. I'm a shrewd business feline. Let's just say my business is international free. Okay, but you've stirred my curiosity. What sort of cargo does the SS Deadweight carry? That's for me to know, Mr. Fox. As you <laughs> can see, the SS Deadweight is a luxury liner. Let yeah, it's good. Luxuriate in peace. I understand. I like that there's multiple variants, too. So, like, if you load in, you're fine, you know? With this. Like, you can always get multiple replay values out of this. Russian blue, maestro. She throws a party like none other, but it's strange when she rushes everyone off the ship so quickly. What do you it's mean? literally Borat. I, I have a feeling she takes the SS Deadweight out to sea during the night. I see. Thank you, sir. He's literally Borat. Now that's a frog suit. A frog suit. Okay, I don't know what that's for. That's all just junk. I have no idea. It certainly can make a lot of alarming noises. I wonder what this get. Gonna make it, uh. like this I'm going to strike back maybe there's like a specific thing what is this a 
Yeah, okay, so it's, I, there's a specific thing that I'm missing. Pardon me, I'm looking for the restroom. This is the bridge, the head down below. Actually, wasn't it? To go pretty bad too. But of course, I'm not allowed to leave my post. The shift's over at two frog ribbits and a cork pop. Then my replacement shows up. Oh, well, hang on tight. I'm sure your release will come soon, one way or another. I can gather information about the Sailor Watchman on the SS Deadweight. 508? What? Where are you getting that from? I mean, there's this thing here, but like, that's isn't that just the day? Well, we can try. the wristwatch version of this thing what time does your shift end i'm off at two frog ribbits and a cork pop that's when my replace okay so we need to ask about yeah what's with that sailor on the bridge why is he so serious about guarding the SS Deadway? He's a strange lad, all right. He only seems to care about making it to happy hour on time. He makes me nervous. Why is that? I thought he was going to bite my head off once when I tried to look at the map on the bridge. It's top secret stuff, you know. Okay, happy hour. Two to four. So between two and four, right? I guess maybe we just put it at two and just see what happens. I'd hate to see the So your shift ends at two frog ribbits and a cork pop. That's kind of an odd signal, isn't it? You know how this fancy modern technology works. This Hey, that's confidential. You're not supposed to be looking at that. Oh, of oh wait, yeah. 1400, right? Wouldn't that make way more sense? Wait, what the fuck? We don't do military time on this boat. Yeah, okay. So... Okay, let's not get too stumped by the kids game. Let's talk to this guy. What do you know about the sailor up there on the bridge of the SS Deadweight? He's our first sneaky one. All right, I recall seeing him in the cantina. Ugh! The cantina, the horror of the cantina. I didn't realize you're so touchy. I love that he's supposed to talk like fucking William Shatner. What do you know about this sailor from the SS Deadway? Oh, that Sal comes in every day straight from war. What time is that? He shows up here 33 minutes after the start of happy hour. There we go. There we go. Start of happy hour, 2 o'clock, 2.33. Let's fucking go, dude. We would have never guessed that. There's no way. Didn't you hear the clock? What are you still doing here? I know. I heard it. I could leave now if only my replacement was here. Unless you're the guy. Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I am your replacement. Consider yourself replaced. How can you be my relief if you're not wearing a sailor hat? Right. What was I thinking? Oh, we got it. We prepared. Okay, you can go now. 
thank you. Out of my way. Coming through. When you gotta go, you gotta go. That's curious. The SS Deadweight made an unscheduled stop out in the middle of the ocean. This particular spot could require some further investigation. Let's see. It looks like the SS Deadweight went to 30 degrees latitude, 5 degrees longitude, 30 degrees, 25 degrees latitude, 65 degrees longitude. Okay. There's no way that was all we had to do in here. What do you know about Ms. Russian Blue, if I may ask? We maintain a strictly professional... What can you tell me about Russian Blue? She's a shady, shady lady. What do you mean? In the dark of night, she sets off to sea on the SS Dead Weight. He's <laughs> like, sir, I only... What can you tell me about Russian Blue, sir? She spends most of her time over on the SS Dead Weight, I believe. Is the SS Dead Weight her ship, then? Oh, yes, it is, Mr. Fox. Yes, it is. Would you place your trinkets on the table and we'll get started? Oh, he's wagering a medal now. We need, must need this or something. Although we're going to get fucking rolled by this guy again. Nines. Give me that shit. Okay. We know he's got nines. Fork it over, piggy. Nines is what he has. Not a one. Got any Don't ask. Sixes. Nice yeah. try, Six and nines. Fish. Nice. Okay. Got any Go fish. Got any aces? Got any nines? Nope. Six no ace, six, nine is what he has. Let me crack another one. Six, nine, and ace is what he has. Cheers. Got any queen? Go fish, sir. Got any two? God damn it. Got any three? Go fish. Ace, two, six, nine. Got any five? Nope. Ace, two, three, six, nine. Okay. Ace two three four six nine. Sixes. Got any aces? Ace two three four six nine. What do you mean by that? Got any eights? Not a one. Got any twos? Go fit. Get fucked, Got baby. Any threes? Got any fives? Go fit. Ace two six nine. Okay. Got any sevens? Go. Ace uh, how delightful. Two twos. Nope. Ace Go two fish. seven nine. Got any sixes? Ace two seven nine. Okay. Got any kings? <laughs> Go fish. I mean honestly like yeah, there's complications with that stuff, but like, what's the alternative? Nice try, but you need to go because like, there's a whole bunch of fucking unhealthy people out there getting this thing, and they're like, oh, it's not a cure-all. Like, yeah, it should have undergone more clinical trials, but it's better to have fucking this. Aces? I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Also, people lie about their fucking medications all the time, or their chronic diseases. God damn it. Got any queens? Go 
bit. Motherfucker. Got any eight? <laughs> okay, I know he's got sevens. Okay, I know he's got fours. Fork it over. I mean, I, I just like, my whole thing is like, there's just like no alternative, right? You either like, wait forever and then people complain about that shit. Or you like, try to fast track the thing. And like, mRNA stuff has been being researched for the longest time. It was like, oh look, it just doesn't have enough funding. And now it's like, yeah, every government in the world needs this thing, so. I don't know. People take conflicting medicines and it leads to problems all the time. I'm still, like, hyper pro getting it. Because, like, I don't see an alternative. God damn it. Fork it over. Oh my god, it just... Okay, that's good for us. You motherfucker. You just... That's all he's got. That's that has to be all he has. That has to be all he has is that. Got any kings? Yes. Okay. Pretty sure we're even with him now. Oh. you won the captain's lucky charm back. Ask yourself, sir. Because I'm a superior, go fish. No, Spy Fox, despite what you might think, we lost. We're, we're, oh, and we're one and three. It's the opposite of superior. Okay. I don't even know what this does. So, Captain Drydock, I just had an interesting little game of go fish with that Mr. Big Pig at the canteen. And you'll never guess what happened. He cheated and ended up winning your lucky charm. No, actually... He lost, and I won this. <laughs> My lucky charm, you found it. Yes. Do you know what this means? I love that it's literally. It's literally what's his face. Thank you. Thank you. Charmed, I'm sure. Listen, matey, if you ever need to use the SS Winterprise, just let me know. I'll take you anywhere you need to go. Okay, well, we still need that shit for Miss Blue or whatever. Do you have info? Oh, she's upper crust. I suspect she's in cahoots with William the Kid, but who am I to say? Interesting. Tell me about her ship, the S. A really be. Yes, sirree, in the dead of night. Very interesting. Okay. So, night. We're going to most likely need a night vision shoe. Okay. Here's where I I guess let's get this. Okay. So there's the drowsy alligator shit there, which you should be able to take. Here's a number that goes Would you get Face your trinkets on the No, I'm not I'm not playing you motherfucker. What's the story? Oh, 
that's not going to That's not Okay. Ah. Hmm, this looks interesting. Alrighty then. We're on our way. I'll just keep the map here in case we need interesting. A pool of white water. I've never seen white water like this before. Wait a minute, it's milk, dairy milk, and none too fresh, I might add. Mm, it sounds just like a seashell out here. Oh my god, you can literally go like everywhere. That's AIDS. Okay, so we know there's milk and shit out there. She's gone now. I was wondering if you were classically trained. Yes, while other dogs were at the obedient. Here's where my notes go. I That's not going to do me any good. Okay. Still locked. We don't need the music from him. What kind of Hey. No, dude. That's not going to do me any That's not That's not going Okay, none of that's going to do him any good. That's not We've already passed this guy. We're now out of conversation stuff. Maybe we go back and talk? Oh, I'm so nervous about those poor berry cats. Hey, according to Spycore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal books. Oh. No. Okay, well, we need to figure out where to go, because... At this point, I have no idea. <laughs> Looks like it's thirty degrees left. Nothing in here is clicky. This just brings the guy back. Okay, well, what are we even supposed to do here, right? Because we have to wait for like time to pass. In safe cracker kit. Please stand by. Hi, Cyclops. Have you found William the Kid's secret fortress yet? Not yet. Have you been able to find any more clues on the spy core computer? Not yet. Let's keep snooping around. I'm sure we'll find it. Okay, let's save really quick. What is this? This is like... <laughs> oh, dude. We're gonna ship post. Oh my god. Oh my god. We gotta. Okay. Use the mouse to control it, not arrow keys. Dude, this is fucked. Oh 
Oh, we can shoot shit with sandwiches, dude. Grinding right now. Oh, oh, okay, we're still in it. Dude, <laughs> god damn it, Pale, I looked away. Dude, probably, it's, I guess it was made by like a super, super small studio, but this is like, okay. Okay, I'm a little stuck. Um, I have no fucking idea where to go. Because I've, I've done the one where you have to like dance with her, but I have a night vision shoe, I have a thing to trap people, I have the x ray stuff, which I don't think I need anymore. Okay. Excuse me. I think I'll What? Okay. So we have that. We need to find that stupid purple diode wherever it is. And I'm not seeing it anywhere, which is concerning. No. It's not this, we know that much. Oh. Mm, this looks or thirty degrees latitude. Could you take me to this looks like an ice dog? You got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, we just went across the world. Okay. Uh, Let's try. Let's try. Dead. We better do something before the sea starts to Colonel. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Yeah, we have like literally nothing here that will help us. Let's stand by. Bye -bye. Any luck finding kids secret fortress? No. I'm beginning to think that kids trying to keep it hidden from the public. Yeah, well, maybe that's why it's called kids secret fortress. Keep following those leads. They're bound to lead somewhere. Dude. Am I stupid? Like... Let's head back. Let's... So she disappeared, but I can't find her anywhere else. So I'm thinking that, like, progresses things to, like, the next stage. And my dialogue options about her have disappeared. We still have money. So that tells me that maybe we can buy something? How much for one of those pennants? They are quite rare. They I've just decided what I'm going to get. That's such a. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going. 
for a spy on the go, I recommend the chicken knuckle. It's your funeral, honey. Yuck. Okay. That's not going to do me any good. Okay. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any That's not going to do me any good. I'll just brute That's force this whole thing. Do I have description text? Mm, chicken knuckles. That's not going to do me any good. Who eats chicken? That's not, not any of my guys. Okay. Maybe this guy? Not going to no. That's not no. That's guys, am I am I fucking stupid? What's the deal here? Homie is still not back. He's probably passed out drunk. Okay, well, we have the, the Chinese food or whatever. The chicken knuckles, whatever it was. But we have no... no nothing to do with it. Oh. 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 It says secret... May cause drowsiness in alligators. Now we drug him. It says secret sauce. Do I dare be? You tell me, spy guy. Okay, so we got the thing. That's not going to do You're a gator, good. dude. Unless it's this guy? That's not going no. I don't see any alligators. I also don't know what this frog suit does. Do it's bad, dude. What can you tell me about that slick looking lounge lizard over there? Him? Oh, that's Johnny Gecko. He wants to be the next Liberace of Tango Me. If only he had that kind of talent. How's business been? Here's a number that goes out. That's toxic, dude. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going. Dude, this is fucked. You don't want that either. You, I don't even think, want That's this. No, no. You just... What do we do with the Chinese food, dude? There's a frog suit. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. We have a thing to blow up a safe. And safe cracker kit. We have night vision. We have uh, trap for enemies. And safe we have suction kit. cups. It has to be with this guy, man, but like Let's try. Mm, this. Okay, here we go. I need to find the source of this milk, but I can't just jump in the water with my socks on. It's strictly dry clean only. Now I may lean green. Okay. 
No. Fucking. Okay, we figured it out. I think we figured it out. Okay, we got this. Throw on the frog suit. Dive in. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Must be where all the milk is coming from. What a terrible waste. I have to put a stop to this. The water is so past. I wonder if this pool of milk attracts catfish. I was going to make a joke about fishing, but I couldn't think of a good line. I don't remember any of this. I should wait until the guard can't see me. I can't go now. It looks like the other guard is coming back. I should wait until the guard can't see me. I can't go now. It looks like the other guard is coming back. Okay, well we have this line. I'm assuming we need to like hook one of those things. Okay, well, there's two fish. Wait until the guard can't see. Little do these guards know that underneath this... I've got to find a way... I can't just swim past these guards. I should wait until the guard can't see. I should wait until the guard can't see. I can't go now. It looks like the other guard is coming back. Dude, what the I fuck? Think I can just swim by what the fuck? We have. My extraordinarily sharp eyes I should wait until the guard can't see. Okay. We have the line here, dude. What's the deal? We have the line. We have nothing else in the inventory that we can do. Underwater Milky Way? No need to take Yeah, but like what? It's gotta be something to do with these fish hooks. And I don't know why this thing is clickable when it doesn't do anything. Kids. That's 
not going to do me any good. No. Well, I don't think I need that drowsiness and alligators shit right now. So let's go back. Okay. God damn it. Go down. A clever spy like me. That's not going to do me any good. It will 100% do you good, dude. Get him out of here. That fisherman will have quite a fish story to tell. Okay, now we grab the other one. I should wait until the guard can't see. So we do it when he turns around, I guess? Oh, we're good. Okay, well this plays one cycle right back. I hate to be the bearer of an underwater wedgie, but I've run out of options. Excuse me. Whoa! Gad! I learned that one at spy camp. Ah, those were the days. Okay. Hmm. The seat's missing. Maybe the pilot used it as a flotation device. This looks like a missile fire button. Now I can do some damage to that door. Something seems broken, though. Here's the jet's fuse panel, and there are some missing pieces. I wonder what this fuse panel is for. I wonder what this fuse panel is for. I wonder what this fuse panel is for. These jet fuse panels sure look complicated. This whole cockpit reeks with potential. I'll have to get back to it. A box of old airplane fuses. I'd hate to refuse a find like this. These spare fuses must fit into the panel, but where? Hmm. This fuse just wants to. No. Hmm. No. No. Okay.
So we need this. But a little bit different. Oh. No, I don't think so. This looks good, though. So... Red, red. That's totally it. Okay. Um, red, red, bottom corner. Let's go, baby. I will treasure her disguise, will I? The boat will sink. It looks like it already sunk to me. That's not the correct code phrase. I know, but it's the truth. Empty box. It's good to be working with you again. Mata Harry. What a fortunate surprise. What invaluable information nugget do you have for me? I intercepted this nectar of the ghost thing, but I don't know what it is. Looks like it fits into some larger component. Can you use it? Are you kidding? Oi, bruv, it looks like it fits. But well, I gotta go. Don't fix an agent box. Thanks for always <laughs> sticking your neck out for me, Mata. You're a gem. Welcome to William the Kid's secret volcano fortress. Please insert the electronic code box. Hell yeah. It looks like the electronic code box into So the I played this game before many times as a kid, and obviously the memory has faded a little bit. But I think I remember a lot more about the second game rather than this one, because this just seems hard. May 8th, right? Doctor is losing her patience. This is correct. You may now enter the fortress at will. Have an even better day. Thank you. What a polite voice box. Let's go, baby. I'd better let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. Spy Fox from Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. As smooth as sandpaper underpants. I just got into Kid's Secret Fortress. Excellent. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox out. Interesting. 
This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. Hmm. I wonder what this diagram is. Right, 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 down, down. It's a secret passageway. I love shit well, like this in games. Entrance. William the Kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants. I better leave this door unlocked in case I need to get back in here later. Okay. Oh, in the locker room. No. I wonder why I haven't seen any. Hey. Let's fucking go, dude. Uh oh. Someone's coming. I better hide. It's Russian blue. I knew she was involved. So that's the dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Ms. Blue, take this diamond and put it back where it belongs. It's the only thing that can disarm my milky weapon of destruction. Oh. So keep it safe. Right away, your Imperial goat meat. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. Okay. This looks exact right, right, down. Let's go, dude. This must be where William the Kid keeps five box toys. Okay, so we need the diode. Uh, I guess this, this way. Be some sort of tram to take people around in kids. Oh, this must. Let's do some real art here. No, wait, hey, no, we fucked it up. <laughs> no, hold on. Hold on, we do. And then we go. And then. Oh, I'm fucking this up. I'm fucking this up so bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally fucking this up. <laughs> oh god, I haven't done one of these since like fucking sixth grade. Okay, well, it's bad. Uh, we're just gonna get rid of that. Okay, yeah, well, there's nothing in here but that easel, but that easel doesn't look like it actually does anything. Okay. Always in here? Always. I never leave. Unless, of course, there's a real emergency. I admire your rabid diode. Don't touch them. The shock of one of those diodes would fry you into a... It says no... Okay, well, we need there to be some to sort of emergency. And I don't know what I need to do. Power. William the Kid. Door. What? The power went out. Those this 
lever seems to be a gerbil on and off switch. I can't go that way. Wait, what? These gerbils look a little run down. Ah, that's the back door. I'll have to thank Quack. With the power off, it. I think it's this one. Yeah, I'm almost positive it's that one. The power. I should take this silk. Do we walk by the guy though? Never get through that door while it's It looks like a billboard. We've got the diode, we're good. We don't even need half the things, dude. That was an easy clap. I hope this is the right Oh, we're good. Do not launch the milk rocket. Go fuck yourself, Mr. Goat. Dude, it's bad. <laughs> it's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call me Billy. It's William. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. When I pull this lovely lever, the cow stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end. Of the dairy world as we know it. That's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Man. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. <laughs> Too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp, where I will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. Delicious? You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one. Dude, I know I can save the cows. And good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. Stupid door. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now all I have to do is find that ascot. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just made a, uh, we just made significant progress. Okay, do we think that the door is in his hideout? Probably. It's probably up here. Not there. It's not. I mean, it's designed for, like, kids. 
Ah. That's Kid's ascot. This must be the secret passageway to the stables where Kid is holding. This should be easy. Uh oh. All right, let's get rolled. An alligator skin bridge. The okay, the found all the cows. Dairy cows. I found them. Hang on, everyone. My name is Spy Fox, and I'll rescue you shortly. Continue treading milk, and I'll be right there. Um, I guess we just pull a lever. Hereby declare you free range cow. Let's go, dude. You think you won, spy fox. But you're wrong. Go ahead. Free the cow. But I'll be back to milk the world yet again. <laughs> Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another escaped goat. I'll get that, William the Kid, next time. Later that day. For outstanding heroism and suaveness, I award you, Spy Fox. No way is that it. There's no way. Why, thank you, Mr. Also, that's totally supposed to be Bill Clinton. That dastardly William the Kid to justice. I'm confident that you'll nab that villain next time. Three cheers for Spy Fox. <laughs> I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk? Let's go, dude. Okay. Okay, I mean, we clapped that. Okay, um, that's a uh, Spy Fox dry cereal. Heck yeah, okay. We got, we got our two out of how many cards can we get on Steam? We only have two more remaining card drops, unfortunately. I don't know which one I'm gonna do next. Yeah, I know, dude. I know, dude. Small, small studio. Ironically, they're from around here. Um, do we? I, I mean, I'm down to do another one that only took an hour and forty minutes. Which Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> let's do. Yeah, I, I mean, they're fun to play, too. I'm thinking... So, I haven't played Cheese Chase. I don't know if that's, like, a mini game. I don't know about Hold the Mustard. I have played some Assembly Required and Operation Ozone, though. Um, so, let's do some Assembly Required. 362 megabytes, by the way. Let me just install it. Um, yeah, one thing that's kind of cool about the... And let me just uh, swap this. There we go. One thing that's kind of cool about... Uh, these spy fox games is they're extremely small and yet there's like a lot of replayability because it's like you know you're either in a b or c playthrough from when you initially start so like if i were to play that exact same game again different items would most likely do well they, they do the same things but like you know i like literally didn't use some of the items like i didn't use the suction cup thing you might have to do that in some instances so Anyways, let's uh 
and get this thing back up. Go back to our game. Where is the game? You guys see this? You cannot, it's black. Game capture. There we go. Somewhere in the Alps. So, Agent Gracefully, you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say my name too often and trying to travel incognito. Who is a boot? You stop talking like that. What do you have there? I got something very it's important bad. out of a smelly trash can. Well, of course it's smelly. If Where's you the thing? Where's can, the visual? You need a hobby. No, not smelly. Smelly. As in the society of meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Where course, is the thing? Nemesis. Okay, we're just going to display got capture. It. You've got to get this trash bag to spy No. No, I've got a better idea. I'd better get this trash bag to spy core headquarters. Oh, and take this gadget. There we go. We're just going to do this because I don't know why it's not working. Inside of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those bad guys. Good luck, Spy Pop. Okay. It's the police. Bad guys? Got water? One sec. <laughs> Swag. Okay. I've got to get out of here. Although this would be a nice getaway cottage, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Work your magic. Let's go, dude. The dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. Dehydrated skis, don't dude. fail me now. Skis, I mean. Get wrecked, pigs. Which way should I go? This way. I wonder which way I should go. Directly into the net. You've got to be kidding me. Ski ability. I bet I can ski right past those goons. Ah. It's counterintuitive. Which way should I go? Okay, that was the right decision. One more. Did you miss me, Chief? So you've analyzed the trash bag, I see, and what a <laughs> bunch the of shit. Box one one thousand scale for one evil robot. On the side, it says some assembly required. Sounds like an excellent title for one of my adventures. It has a mailing label that reads, To La Roche, care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair. Hmm. Be right back while you guys watch this. You'd better take these with you, Spy Fox. Wow, you can learn a lot by reading. If Smelly is involved, they must be up to their usual no goodness. You'd best go check out this World's Fair. Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. I'm on my way, Chief. Spy Fox, 
Are you okay? Shaken but not stirred, Monkey Penny. So it looks like we're on to something big. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the Smelly trash bag. Well, of course it's Smelly if you got it out of a trash bag, Spy Fox. No, Monkey Penny, not Smelly. Smelly, as in the Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. Our evil nemesis. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the mobile command center. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any Hang on, guys, just a sec. Don't forget to check out the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to go get busy and go give that LaRoche at the Chateau LaRoche a visit and find out just what he's up to. It's bad. Basically, when you get a uh, call from what you think is legit, and it's actually a uh, hi, we've called to reach you about your car's extended warranty spam call. Awesome. Okay. A spy key replicator can. What's the key to this gadget, Professor Quack? That's a one-shot camera like no other in the world. It's specifically made for replic. Okay, so that takes keys. A grenade. The termite grenade. I'm sure this gadget isn't bug free, Professor Quack. How does it work? You've got to be careful with this one, Spy Fox. Toss it at something made of wood and get out. Okay. Jumper cables. Never mind. What in the world could this gadget be used for? Well, it's used to turn off alarms. A fingerprint replicator utensil kit. How does this work, Professor Quack? The stealth vac. How does it work? You just hook up the handy nozzle, then press vacuum to suck up the particles into the handy travel bag. Or press re. By heat. This looks like some hot work. How does this gadget work, Professor Quack? Now this gadget, I'm really proud of. You can spray. Okay. It's the assembly instructions for one evil dog bot. Man. Hmm. The entrance is closed and it's locked up tighter than an impervious steel door. Dentist, ballerina, jockey. Do you ever feel bored? Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but unfortunately, <laughs> I cannot allow you to enter through the surface entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let dishwashers with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of dishwasher in a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Okay. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. So we need to be a dishwasher. Dishwasher. France. Okay. is a Carlton Rudy Nell Chuck Reginald 
dishwasher. To make an ID card, I first... With the photo in place, I can now make... Just like that. I expect photo fraud. Instantly. Have your admission... Let's go, baby. Here you are, sir. One dishwasher ID card. Oh my, I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess. It was in your other pants, wasn't it? Why? Yes, it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Reginald. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow... What's the most challenging part of being a chef? Trying to blend in. Sure, sure, sure. Perhaps you'd like to share one of the many high... Whatever. Come to the kitchen with China. Okay. Ah, Napoleon LaRoche. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of smell. So spy corps has sent the famous spy fox to try to stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Uh, of course. Ah, since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. You see, I reversed the scale of the smelly evil dog boss assembly instructions. I created a 1,000 to 1 scale, fully functioning evil dog boss. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. You're standing in it. Of course, you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the world's fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe the means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the world's fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstiles, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within the evil dog bot. When the one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction! Oh, once I have unleashed the dog bot, all the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy! It is unstoppable! It cannot be called off because it has no off switch! Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair. So cleverly, so subtly, that you will never find it. That's what you think, LaRoche. Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel, which is the only way into the dog bot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> okay. You'll never get away with this, LaRoche. Oh, I think I will. And now, Monsieur Le Spy Fox, adieu! Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How? LaRoche's goons didn't follow the assembly instructions. This gear must go somewhere in here. This gear is too this gear is too big to go there. I wonder where this gear is this gear is too big to go there. Based? That did the trick. Based, okay. Well, I guess it's like they s All right, we're in the Talk fair. about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop LaRoche and his evil plans for world domination. Please stand by. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dotty Dash. Where's it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is staticky, and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. You can pick him up here at the mobile command center. 
By the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans, and I'm sending them to you via the spy watch. I look forward to hearing the dish. Monkey Penny, out. Okay. Welcome to you clone it where you, you get two 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 for the price of one. <laughs> Stereo sheep. I'm Doll and I'm Lee. Hello, Dolly. So nice to have you back where you belong. Okay. I don't think I can use that. Although that looks I'm not in the that looks delicious. I'm although it says everything on it's Do you have pancakes on us? Okay, well something seems fishy. We got an oh, alcoholic over know. here. Oh, I'm sadder than an ant in the neck brace at a picnic. In the old days, it never failed. The Cape Cod would razzle and dazzle with his mighty cape of joy, and then the finale. A shot out of the cannon. Sounds exciting. Then, one fateful day, we were at a sea monkey convention, and my assistants, Goldie and Blow, were setting up my act. My lucky clear goggles were misplaced, and in their stead was a pair of dark goggles. So what you're saying is that you need your lucky clear goggles? You ever try to steer yourself with dark goggles after you've been shot out of a cannon? Hey, Cod, can I? What's this? <coughs> hmm. Whatever that thing is, it's letting that bad guy type with the glasses on into the e. I don't think there's much in here besides what it defaults to, right? Yeah. Okay. Is this Plat World? Correct, my dear. I am Madam Ladybug, the slightly irritated owner of Plant World. Instead of the beauteous red rose I ordered, I have been sent a mutant Venus flytrap by Napoleon LaRoche. Nice cage, though. A locked cage for which I have no combination. Okay. On top of it all, this particular Venus flytrap has something in its mouth. Interesting. What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? He delivered this mutant Venus flytrap to me instead of my rose. Now why do you... Because he's a dick. Ooh, um... Okay. Plant World is not really offering us much ice rink. Who are some of the skaters that you've trained? That skater who fell during the 1965 Autumn Games. Remember her? That. Okay, so that's where we get the roast. Did you know that Renovus is souvenir spelled backwards? Well, that's about it. Hey. Would you say you specialized in Swedish or sports massage? I went to the old man that hurts school of massage. Oh man that hurts? Why do they call it that? Because it is. Oh man that hurts. Oh yeah, your tension is just dissolving away. What can you tell me about that trophy? You don't want to hear about that. Well, all right. If you... It was back in my younger days as the masked she-bear. 
I used to cut up the ice as a famous ice skater. Hold up there, sir. Do you have a stamp on your hand? No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hands. Okay. That's the... I bet these are cool spy skates. Okay, I'm just gonna get those just because <laughs> seems like something we might need. Let's go ice skate, I guess. Hey, now I those are really I can get I Okay, now we go talk to what's her face about ice skating. What do you know about the double sour cow ice skating move? You look handsome. Let me give you a massage. I tell you, kiddo, I did the double sour cow as the mash she bear. In fact, that skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi monthly magazine Skaters Weekly in a color diagram and everything. Color diagram? May I have that? It's all yours, sweetie. Thanks. Okay, well, we have our, uh... That won't do me any... That's not... Okay, we gotta go in there. This should do the trick. Let's go, dude. I was so good, I burned the skates out. Oh, well, I don't need them anymore. Let's go, dude. We've got the rose. Okay. I'm gonna save this. Not that we even need to. Okay. So let's just give the one chick the rose, right? That's what she needs. Madame, would this rose be suitable? I thank you. Now, if I could only open that display cage, I would replace that mutant fly trap with this. Okay, now we need a combination. Unless you're playing piano, hands off those keys. Those keys are to all the exhibits at the fair, and they're my responsibility. The only thing standing in between me and the inside is a locked door. Okay. So we need the key replicator. Is that what this is? That's the spy key replica. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. Which key should I take a picture of? Key four. Won't do me any good. The door is locked. Um, no. That's not going. That's not going to do me any. Here's where I keep. That won't do me. Any where the hell do we develop this?
monkey, Penny. What can you tell me about the spy key replicator cam? Quack is the one who can tell you about that. Thanks, monkey pen. Oh my god. How does the spy key replicator cam work again, Professor Quack? You take a picture of the key you want to replicate. I gotta bake it, dude. Okay. That's the sp I'm gonna take the suck thing too, why not? We gotta bake the photo. Would it be okay if I used your oven? It's really quite urgent. That oven is a highly sophisticated piece of kitchen equipment. Only trained chefs can use it, and I'm afraid you don't look at all like a chef. Come to the kitchen with China. Bitch, okay. That's rude. Getting coffee. Excellent. Will you stand? Well, fucking we missed that message, that sucks. Won't do me any good. Why will that not do me any good? Okay, chef uniform. Not here. We're probably good with that. Uh, Won't do me any good. <laughs> this thing said, I don't so I need to eat pancakes or something. I'm not in the mood to eat apples. I've always been a so that's not. Here's where my So, what's cooking? Food and sticks. And food on sticks. Food for thought. Okay, well, we need that. What do the rest of the things do? That heats something up or cools it off, which is not what we need. Termites. We don't really have anything that does anything we would, and we don't need the alarm stopper. Or the fingerprint thing. We have everything that we need. Okay. The machine's just fucked. Won't do me any. Go right in, Reginald. Come to the kitchen with That's not going to do me any. The road. No time. Excellent. Thank you for the rose. I find it rather becoming, don't you? Like you. I'm becoming? Becoming silly, that is. Now, if that fly trap was out of that display cage, I could put my rose in its place. Hmm. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. <laughs> Oh. Hey, you! You cannot go in! The Wax Museum is not open yet! Would you 
believe me if I told you that I had my own television show on public act? Do you ever think about how many... Okay. We need the temperature thing. That's fine. That's the spy... Let's go, dude. God damn it. We went this way again. <laughs> Wait. Interesting. LaRoche has a mutant penis flytrap just like... Didn't anyone... Once again... I guess... Okay. This way and here. Canned heat. Just watch this spy heat to join up with a demo of his spy heat. Excuse me, but the temperature has gone up well over 80 degrees. George Washington Cougar and an Wolfgang Duck. Okay, we're just So we have the chef outfit now. Oh, okay. We leave here. We go in here. We put on said chef outfit. I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to myself, my, it has been a long time since I last prepared food inside a giant mechanical dog. Yes, well, of course, as a fellow master chef, you are welcome to make use of my kitchen. That's very generous. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, we've got the key. No. Well, I guess... The roach just keeps, keeps getting me, man. What do we need now? What do we have? Oh, yeah, we got the key. That opens up the thing over here. This opening is too small to get through. It'll take someone much smaller than myself to get through. Hmm. Someone much smaller. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Walter. You've got to find Dotty Dash, the microfish. You can count on me, Spy Park. Look at that cargo. This car is, this is the only way to travel. What a shocking waste of valuable attic space. Well now, things are starting to look up. I've been told that it's impolite to stare, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Okay. This button opened that door. The refrigerator is now in cold storage. My instinct tells me I'm getting closer to Donnie Dash's location. Seventy-four million dollar question is, who invented the retractable TV? Hmm. This button opens and closes the bottom drawer. I must remember to check with Quack about a pair of spy top. Oh, I can open both. Open and close the top drawer with this button, but will it sort my thoughts? Well, it looks like we made it through. 
close, but no banana. What? Typically, I would open and close the drawer. But there we go. Calm, cool thinking pays off. Film at 11. Let's go, baby. Around and around and down. This is Walter Wireless. Eureka. Walter, I'm glad you found me. I've been on surveillance here in WeWorld, searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has to do with some activation code. My equipment went on the fritz before I could get the whole message to you in Spycorp, but I think it's really important. I'm sure it is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? Not smelly. Smelly. The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. All right. Our evil nemesis. So what was the rest of the message? I need to transmit it to Spyfox right away. Of course. The activation code is cherry, apple, orange. Got it. Walter Wireless calling Spyfox. Please stand by. Come in, Spyfox. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did you find Dottie Dat? I did. I'm going to transmit the activation code Dottie intercepted to you via the Spywatch. Stay tuned. Cherry, apple, orange. I got it, Walt. Good job, Dottie. Thanks, Spy Fox. The rest is up to you now. Good luck, Spy Fox. This is Walter Wireless signing off. I've got the off switch activation code. Now that LaRoach is in for it. Okay. That's part of it. And now he's mauled. I made that the mechanism. None of those do anything else. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. We're quickly exhausting everything. We still need the combination. It's the off code. Here's where I keep Hmm. Do we have a talkable thing? We do. We have LaRoche's thing. What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? All he talked about was the botanical exhibit he was about to see at Plant World. Probably because the plants are shorter than he is. Well, that's terrifying. These binoculars work swell. There's got to be a reason for this. Otherwise, you, way to view the fair. you wouldn't be able to put them on and use this, I would hope. Nothing like relaxing with a pair of binoculars. It's 
fun to look at things close up. There's nothing like relaxing with a pair of binoculars. It's ch chalked. That won't do me any good. That's not good. <sighs> so that's my contact, eh? Brilliant disguise. I'd like a candied apple, please. Certainly, sir. Here at Food of the Future, all food is on sticks. It allows you to enjoy your favorite foods without using a knife or fork or having to stop what you're doing. Here you go, a free candied apple on a stick sample. Well, I have the candied apple. Isn't that just grand? Yes, but I, meaning me, have in my possession the candied apple. Only one candied apple sample per customer. Now run along and enjoy the fair, Pumpkin. Maybe she wants me to come back when there are less people around. Oh well, this candied apple looks good. Watch what you're doing. You want to give me a coronary? Ah, Lenny, you're the apple of my eye. What information do you have for me? Hi, spy fox. Listen close. There are spies everywhere, so don't look directly at me. This leaf contains the information that you need. This is too small to read. What do you want from me? I wrote it with my teeth. Now I got to split. People are starting to stare. Throw me in the dumpster. Suit yourself. Oh! I'm all right. Save yourself. Okay. Well, we need her to bring pancakes out or something, because I need to be able to acquire pancakes. I'm not in the mo oh, that looks del huh, a leaf. Hmm. I can see a square, a star, and a... Let's the go! Squ no. Square. Star. I did it! Oh, thank you, sir. I'll just replace that atrocious fly trap with his beauteous rose. Nicely done. I can dispose of that fly trap for you. How polite. Obviously, you're a fox with home training. Yes, I am how. I need to get that plant to open its trap, and that won't do me any good. Do we have something to make plants go to sleep? It's Maybe a gadget that I'm just not thinking about? That's termites. That's a trap. That's the spike. That won't do me any good. Just put it in the oven, dude. Just that kill this thing. That won't do. Long time no see, Laro. <laughs> Getting coughed up the throat of this dog bot is sure tough on a white tuxedo. One. It's a good thing. Okay, we need to figure out a way. We have the sucker thing, but Do you have pancakes on a stick? Yes, they come with frozen maple syrup on a stick. Would you like some? Absolutely not. I don't touch pancakes unless the syrup is heated to precisely 86.4 degrees. You 
Beatles clone it? No. no. We know what, what you're thinking. thinking. What's for lunch? Food. And only food. Have you ever had it? Okay, well, I need like pancakes or something. Says, I'm not kind of food. That won't do. Bum. Nothing like a game of things from space to get the old heart. Dude. I totally spaced this is from this game. Dude, I totally forgot about this game. Okay, so we get points. Where's my bonus stuff? Finish. Let's go, baby. Give bonus. That's 
the easy clap. Let's go! I just want the level 3 laser, man. Okay. Isn't that like the bigger asteroid? Ship was probably worth a ton. He had shields and everything. Oh my fucking god. Level four. Okay. This sucks. It's bad. Okay. Well, we're not getting anywhere from that. Okay, so we need pizza on the stick or whatever. This thing says, I don't. I need to get that plant to open its trap and give me the off switch. Okay, but how do we do that? This is where I keep my spy gadgets. You guys are gonna guess. Keep my spy oh. gadgets. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Oh, I'm messing over it, I know. Ugh. Okay, well, going that way doesn't lead us anywhere. Maybe up front? Maybe you have more for me. That's not going to do me any good. That's... That's the spot. That's the alarm. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. I think we have everything now. That's the. How do we do this, man? That's not going to do me any good. <laughs> that won't do me any. Is it all right if I use your oven? 
What's the most challenging part of being a chef? Trying to blend in something with China. Getting caught. Excellent. That's not going to do me any good. I swear there was more in here rather than just leaving. Like this looks like it should go somewhere. That's not I'm so confused. Please stand by. How's the mission going, Spybot? Mm. I have the activation code, but not the off switch. Some know more than they're telling you. You just have to get them to open their mouths. Monkey Penny, out. Spy Fox, a little confused. Anything else you'd like to tell me about the rope? He was really enjoying his green pepper on a stick when he left to go to... What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? He spends all of his time with his plants. He should be watching your act. He doesn't have proper audience etiquette. Anything else you'd like? Could you please tell me anything you know about LaRoche? Plant world. That's plants and stuff. He loves his plants. Thank you much. Bert. Bella above. What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? Strange little fella. He loves that plant world. Didn't want to wait for me to let him in here. Imagine that. I'd rather not, laddie. I don't have much more magic. Do you happen to know anything about La Roche? I know he enjoys a good botanical exhibit now and then. I know I do. All those lovely plants and the beautiful smell. That plant world exhibit is prettier than a red wagon going up a hill. I'll keep that in. What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? He gets his shell popped here often. <laughs> After he gets popped, you can usually find him tending to plants. Plants, huh? Thanks for the tip. So what do you know about LaRoche? Oh, he's such a nice person. He's got nothing but goodness in his heart. Unless you try to thwart his plans for global do- What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? Well, I can't say he's the nicest person I've ever worked for. Much obliged. A little stuck because like at this point I'm pretty sure we've talked to everybody here's where I keep my spy gadget that won't do me any good that's not going to do me any good the roach why well here it's a
That bad guy put on those glasses, breathed on that breath device, and the secret door op Yeah, I know, dude, but I haven't eaten the right stuff, That's so... Going to do me any good. I gotta eat the right food, because my breath is all messed up. The Achilles heel door is locked up tight. I can't see what that evil person ate. I need to be higher up to look over that bad guy's shoulder. Oh. Where it I swear we already did this. Also, where does this old lady go? These binoculars work swell. There's nothing like relaxing with a pair of binoculars. Hmm. There's the food on the stick place, but... There's the food on the stick, and then there's a f food cloning, cloning rink thing. What a great way to view the fair. Into the analyzer. There we go. Things appearing on screen. It looks like pickle pot pie. That breath analyzer is checking for the okay. So we need pickle pot pie. Who do we know who's a chef around here? Well, we know the one lady up top. She's probably gonna need some ingredients from us. So let's pickle pot pie. Can you prepare pickle pot pie? Why, I won the French Cookies Medal of Honor for my pickle pot pie. And of course I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have one pickle right now. Can't you make it with the one pickle We can you clone have? the food, dude. Probably not. Good pickle pot pie must be made with exactly two pickles. We've got it. We've got it figured out. Eject me out of here, dude. I'm sick of this shit. Come in here. Clone the pickle. Let's go, we got two pickles. Let's go, baby. Okay, go this way, back out here. Give her the two pickles. Here you are, two big juicy pickles. Wonderful. How exciting that you should find two so identical. They appear to be exactly alike. Perhaps they're related. Here's where my notes go. I use the talk. <laughs> oh, I must have eaten already. So my breath must uh, smell like that. Which is good. Let's go. Okay. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile and oh. rotate a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. These gears, in turn, rotate a giant underground bread spoon that passes below the fair to the base of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. From there, another series of gears turn, spinning the drive shaft with turn. Yet more gears that wind up the massive spring that will power my unstoppable evil dog bot. When the one millionth chorus comes through the turnstile, my evil dog bot will be completely wound. And then I will unleash the dog bot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly.
I'm not going to let him know that I'm here. That man is high as hell on the job. I can't. I can't go over there while the guard is watching. So maybe I'll we'll just steal your glasses. Dude, and I get the tinted glasses. Let's go. I gotta talk to Evil Knievel. I believe these are yours, Kate's card. My lucky goggles. I can't believe my eyes. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Ugh, everything sure smells a lot different with these on. You mean looks a lot different, don't you? No, smells a lot different. Where'd you find these? Sorry, they've been in my pocket for a while. Can I borrow your dark goggles, Kate's card? Heck, son, you can have them. Thanks, dog. Let's go, baby. We put on the goggles. We put on the goggles. The is bright, but this spot. That's a grow light, if I've ever seen one. Oh, look. Oh, shit. Just like the per We're doing it. Okay, now we leave. We go out here and we press this. And then he drops the thing. Grinding, dude. Oh, what can possibly stand up to the onslaught of a big giant mechanical dog robot? My sophisticated machine of menace will march across the surface of the earth and claim it in my name. People will shout my name to the skies. The road, the road, the road. And I will say, Yes, what is it? All the world leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. It's quite an evil plan, no? <laughs> okay. I'll leave that the way it is. I think we're good in here, then? Wait, hold on. Yes! Huh. The opening and closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition device. I wonder what would happen if... I wonder... So we need fingerprints of, I'm assuming, the roach? So that here you are. It so happens I carry a fork. Now I'm almost ready. Okay, so we've got that now. Go back up. Use the silverware. Let's give this a try, shall we? Like the old It's the off code for the evil dog bot Cherry Apple Orange That must be where I
Pineapple. At last, the off switch. M -m 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 must get to, 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 to the off switch. Bad dog bot. Six. What? You called? La Roach, your evil days are over. I don't think so. Dawn has not yet set. Go in after him. That LaRoach won't get away from me. I wonder what he's up to now. That spy fox thinks he's so smart. I have one more trick to play before I make my escape through these sewer pipes. This computer program will set up a million posters hidden in the dog box. Simultaneously burn a million pieces of toast, leaving a dark gray cloud hanging over the fair for the next ten months, much like Seattle. Oh no! That's toxic. There's a bug in the program. Ah, I must check my variables and track down all the stray pixels. That dastardly LaRoche won't get away with that. Not with Spy Fox on his trail. Hmm. Hmm. The sewer pipe move. <laughs> I bet that rent. I wonder where that pipe goes. I think that made the pipe move. Okay, well that's where it was before. This ball. There we go. There's the hammer. To Fiji or <laughs> to Spy Jail. <laughs> Okay. Well, I think we want to send him to uh, Spy Jail. So we're going to go over here, and now we'll use the wrench, and that should be game. I've got to... that LaRoche gets a nice suite at the Spy Jail Hotel. Shh. It's down the drain for you, LaRoche. What? You again? Uh -oh. Get him out of here. Job in catching Napoleon the Rose spy fox, you get my eternal gratitude. I had excellent help on this case, Chief. Ah, yes. I present to you the Grand Golden Family Approved Fortified Supreme Certificate of Excellence. Thanks, Chief. It was all in the line of duty. For the deductive reasoning and daring deeds displayed in disabling the dangerous and destructive evil dog bot, 
for saving the World's Fair from the total devastation and for defeating the deceptively dastardly and decidedly deceitful villain, Napoleon LaRoche, you are hereby awarded this Certificate of Accomplishment along with Spy Corps' highest honors and unyielding gratitude. Signed by the Spy Corps' chief and stamped with the Spy Corps' wax seal of excellence. That would be what we call based. Okay. Um. Do we do the third game too? There's, there's, I know there's three, there's three base games. I don't know about any of the other ones, but I'm thinking there's definitely a third game out there. Do we do the third one out there? Or do we call it? <laughs> What are you guys thinking? Pale, are you still here? What are you thinking? What's your what's your vote for? Pale. Yeah, that's all good. Um, hmm. Let's do one more. Why not? We need to... Is this a full one? No, this one's just some shitty mini game. What about this? That's also just some shitty mini game. Okay. All right, let's install this last one really quick. Almost done. Okay. Let's go, dude. Oh. Somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Ah, yes. Oh, you're right. Awful there, laddie. Maybe so, but the smoke's on you, laddie. You mean the joke's on me, don't you? Can't we stop that? <laughs> like I said, the smoke's on you. infiltrated the bad guy's base. Now I need to find my informant. He has vital information I don't normally... They're still out there. Don't...
when I get this rocket-powered origami skateboard neat, if I do say so myself. But it is definitely not a rocket-powered skateboard. Makes Freddy fish. When I get this rocket-powered origami skateboard put together, I'm going to sh that did it. Now I'm rocket powered and somehow it also makes a fish. Mans is not happy about me breaking into the dam. <sighs> He's mad. Chief, a giant aerosol hairspray can has been spotted orbiting the planet, and it has unleashed a seemingly endless spray of aerosol directly at the ozone layer. At this rate, that aerosol can will destroy the ozone in a matter of hours. Chief, I retrieved the message you sent me after. It's in the form of a lipstick container. The message is probably chemically infused on the outer casing so small we'll need the super spy magnifying glass to see it. Did you look inside the lipstick container, Spy Fox? Incredible! Someone put a message inside the lipstick. Ingenious in its simplicity. What does it say, Spy Fox? Please help me. Sign, Plato Pushpin. Of course! Plato Pushpin is the top expert in cosmetic rocketry. He must have information that can help us stop this diabolical orbiting ozone eraser. He was last known to be working for reigning cosmetics queen Poodles Galore. Spy Fox, you need to go to Poodles Cosmetic Factory and talk to Plato Pushpin. I'm on my way. I assume Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up mobile command center there. Of course. Here is the number of the song you need to play to get you in. Good luck, Spy Fox. Luck has nothing to do with it. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Now I'm really on a roll. So this must be where Poodles Galore has her factory. The first order of business is to rendezvous with Quack and Monkey Penny at the mobile command center. Hmm, the mobile command center. Donut shop is closed. What a cool jukebox. W5, the man with the golden bun. I can use this machine. It says, How's it going, sport?
Here's what That's where I keep my spot. This The lights are off, so they must be closed. Okay. Maybe they'll be open later. The gate to Dude, how the hell did we get to the command center? Will you stand by? The mission is going a little slow, Monkey Penny. Do you have any advice? Remember to talk to people. They often provide clues. Okay, that doesn't help me. It's interesting that up until 1905, bowling balls were made of lignum vitae, a very hard wood. Gee, that little bit of knowledge and 75 cents will get you a can of pop. A fat stack of pancakes would be good right about now. Was there anything to... This donut shop look... <laughs> it says donuts. Yes, yes, yes. It's gotta be inside the bowling place. can use this machine to make a name patch and it's got to have something to do with this damn machine there's nothing else I can do Did you know that a crude form of bowling I'd like to trade this bowling shirt for that other brightly colored shirt. Suit yourself. <laughs> Grandfather Fox had a saying, a penny in the hand is just a penny. You need a... Dude, I'm so confused. So we need the thing to get into. C5. I need to 
Okay. There we go, baby. Let's go. Okay. The duck blind. What's the insight on this gadget, Professor Quack? You simply put the duck blind on like a hat, and it. Okay, ducks can't see you. The grappling granny. Grappling hook. The spy rust buster. Gets rid of rust. The spy toaster. What's the spy action on this gadget, Quack? You can use this spring-loaded gadget. Okay, that goes up. The a cup. Ear. That it's for listening through doors. The spy bowling ball. The spy pearl detector. The canned laughter. The spy mint. I'm sure this does more than fresh and breath. It's really a glow-in-the-dark spy mint that will light up dark rooms. The sticky stun bun. How does this caramel... That's a pretty keen bowling shirt. Excuse me, aren't you poodles galore? That is right. Are you the fourth member of our bowling team? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Where is your bowling shirt? You must have a... I can use this machine to make a name patch. This bowling shirt fits perfectly into the free patch machine. How handy. That patch machine work. I might need that. I think. Have you been in? I'm ready to bowl. Let's get bowling. You are not on our team. Mm. Your shirt is the right color, but the name on your patch doesn't match the name on our roster. Goodbye. That's a pretty keen bowling shirt you have on. Do not. You look like you're a pretty good bowler. Please don't. So Poodle's Ace Champ Dusty. This machine makes name patches. I say that would be too good. D U S. Oh. I'd better take. Oh, it's me, Dusty. Have you been in? You are. Ms. Galore, I understand your cosmetic business has really. Excuse me, Ms. Galore, but I'm ready for some serious 10 pin action. Shall we bowl? Finally! You go first. I want to savor this moment. Well, that was fun. Time to split. Pushpin! He is gone! Ace! Champ! He must have Pushpin! Don't let him get away! Thank goodness you got my message. I thought Miss Galore was going to make a ten pin split out of me. She caught me before I could get the final ingredients for my congeal pill. It's the only thing that can stop her now. Sounds like a bitter pill to swallow. Just tell me what you need. 
What's up? Uh, this is, uh, this is the third Spy Fox. We have done the previous two in this stream. And the final item I need is the aerosol particle diameter number, or APD for short, from outside the orbiting aerosol can itself. The APD. That's Nicolette's hey. account, right? How am I going to get that with a super spy mess in a mess? Aha! Ow! Shit. has a rocket ship locked in her factory. Nice. Perhaps you could borrow it. Here is huh. Nice. Is she at work or something? Oh, what do we need to do? The ingredient list for push pins congeal pin. Okay. It's 1 p.m. Quack. Will you stand? Okay, I've got Hello, my car. My name is Fox. Spy. Dude, what are you saying? I'm straight. Hello, my name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a mission to save the world. Interesting. Well, good luck to you. May I have a secret donut XY, please? The fate of the world depends on that donut. Oh my, that sounds important. But our ex donut baker, Bobby Llama, is the only person with the recipe. And he quit to get in touch with his inner donut. I've got to have that donut. Can you make the donut if I find the recipe? With the fate of the world resting on it, of course I can. Look, a cop at the donut place. Interesting, but I don't think that will do me any. I have you sold all the cookies? No, Jesus Christ. Can I interest you in some honey baked beet biscuits? No thanks. I don't like that kind of cookie. Okay, this is process of elimination. Oh, we Can found I you it. In some we got him. Lemon listies? Luscious lemon listies. Sure. We I'll got take him. A box. It's amazing how they get such a lemony flavor without using any lemons. On behalf of the cook, he's got. Okay, we got that. That means you two are the only other people I can talk to. Would you like to buy some honey baked beet? Oh, biscuits? thanks, dude. No, thank you. I'm simply not motivated to buy anything like that. I'm not motivated. Would you like some money? Would you like to buy some coconut curry crunches? No, thanks. <sighs> not much going. Come on, <laughs> UI, please just work. Expand out. These coconut curry crunches really look delicious. You like to buy some? None for me, thanks. I'm more of a coffee and donut guy. Let me try one more. Can I interest you? Okay, he doesn't want. He's a prick. This spy car is oh, dude, this is the hard one. Okay, so we're in North America. This is the whole world. We got a temple, we got a cactus, we got a lake. That's the entire world. We're gonna go to lake. My favorite continent. Uh, ah, the lake. The freshwater pearl. F Hello. This is some freaky shack. Can I help you? Eh, you don't have any gum, do you? Why do you ask that? Well, I feel like chewing gum, but never mind. Okay, well, this lady's definitely, like, blurst. Would you like to buy some honey-baked beet biscuits? Are you kidding? Those have nothing but chemicals. Oh, God. These coconut curry crunches really look delicious. Wouldn't you like to buy some? Well, okay. Wait. No, nothing. Nothing for me. Thank you. What?
I need like a megaphone to talk to that guy. Let's go to Africa. To the desert. Oh yes. Wow, this is quite a bee farm. It's called an apiary, honey. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Would you like to buy some honey baked beet biscuits? Hell yeah. Honey baked beet biscuits from the Cookie Scouts? The one and only. Let's go, dude. That's two. We got the money. Give me the bee hat. That's a lot of honey. Get it? Like the bear likes honey. Not enough for you? It's not so bad. Now I used to work in the jungle. Now that was hot. You're like a yeehaw. What are you doing in the middle of Africa? These coconut cur Stop right there. Only beekeepers with Oh my god, only beekeepers. Oh, only beekeepers. Okay, let me just put on my beekeeper hat and walk on through. Get fucked, pig. Okay. Uh That guard was no match for my clever. Isn't sitting on those You want. Would you like to buy some? No, you're a prick. Excuse me, are you Bobby Lama, the ex donut baker? I am he. Have you come seeking the inner peace and the donut of your soul? Not really. I've come seeking the recipe to secret donut XY. I see. Here, you may have it, pilgrim. I come seeking greed. Okay. That was very straightforward. Just take off the disguise right there. There's still gotta be some of those. We need the grappling hook. Gotta go back to NA. Do you want to buy these? How'd the move go, Alex? Would you like to buy some? Would you like? Grappling granny. Okay, we got two things. We can definitely carry more. The problem is I don't know what else we need. I know we'll need the pearl finder eventually, but. <laughs> I'm here studying chickle for my PhD in gamatology, but some pink clad pranksters locked all of the chickle inside Chickle Pichu. Chickle Pichu! With this talk balloon, I can gather information about the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. The ancient. Yeah, moving mattresses sucks, dude. Yes, dude, we got the money. Okay. Go back to N.A. Give the money to the pig girl. She's going to give me the megaphone. The megaphone allows me to talk. To okay, I need the pearl thing. We already went to the pearl farm, but we didn't have the megaphone, which I forgot how you got. Okay. Do this. Go here. Go to the lake. We're at the lake now. Use the megaphone to talk to this guy. Ahoy out there! I need a ride out to the Pearl Farm! Would you mind? No, why not? They shark bites it anyhow! Okay. Poodles? Thank you, old man. Duck blind. Duck. Let's just... Duck blind? 
Hey, don't fail me now. Look I at right that. Past that guard. The duck blind impaired his ocular nerves. In other words, I'm in the oyster house. But look, I'm going to. The pearl detector will pinpoint a pearl for me in no time. I'm getting colder. I'm getting colder. I must be getting closer to a pearl. I'm getting colder. I'm getting warmer. Okay, Oyster, don't be shellfish. Hand over that pearl. Hmm. Eureka! I've got the pearl Plato pushpin needs for his congeal pill. Meanwhile, just, orbiting high above the earth. Just litter, dude. Fuck that like. In only a matter of hours, my special blend of aerosol will have completely destroyed the ozone. The sun will then beat relentlessly down upon the earth. <laughs> All the little darlings will scream for my sunscreen. Poodles ran SPF 2001. Then I will not only be the queen of cosmetics, but the undisputed ruler of the world. I'm starting to shine. Okay. Progresso. Come on, you old fart. We gotta go back to here. I feel like you have information for me. I'm looking for the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. You don't happen to have it here, do you? You bitch, you do have it. I'm sure that's some kind of code phrase. Okay, well, we can... Fuck, we skipped that message. God damn it. Okay, well, we can go get the donut. So we now have that recipe. Pia, I found the recipe <laughs> for secret donut XY. Well, let's have a look see. <sighs> what do we need, Bobby stuff? Lama wrote his donut recipe in some kind of picture code. I'm sure it will be no match for my keen spy intellect. Okay. Snails are S. A. 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 It's probably G, right? G for grape? Yeah. Elephant. Octopus. Ice cream. Gabby is at work until... Until like 2.30? 3.30? Something like that. And then she's off. She streamed for a little bit yesterday. I'm assuming that's T for tooth, yeah. Pineapple. Tapioca? Davinci? Let's go, dude. I've cracked the culinary code for secret donut XY. It really was no match for a super spy such as myself. Huh? He's Using cracked. Tool will help me gather information about finding tapioca for seek. I'm already there. He's cracked, ah. dude. He's cracked. What are you doing? Hello there. You look like a rich asshole. Do you know where I can find some fresh tapioca? I should say so, old bean. It's the only thing I found to eat in this dreadful I dome. knew it. Morning, noon, and night, it's tapioca, tapioca, tapioca. It's simply ghastly. I'd give the queen's royal jewels for a brown gravy glazed donut. 
Round gravy glazed donut. Easy to do. Easy to do. We happen to know a donut shop. Brown gravy glaze. Do we have it? I'm not sure why, but I'd like a brown gravy glazed donut, please. One fresh hot donut. Brown gravy glazed donut. Where the... Where is it? I, do you go on men... We don't have the thing. Okay. It's the ingredient list for push So we got the pearl. We need to still need to give push pin chickle from the heart of the jungle. When did you So the secret couldn't you make a secret donut XY with something other than tapioca? The recipe is very specific. I'd like a brown gravy glazed donut, please. That's my cue to bake donut. Oh. Uh. One fresh hot donut up. You bastard. <sighs> I love that kind of donut. That is one hungry civil servant. I need God. Spy Fox says all cops. <laughs> it's bad. Hey dude, how about one of how about one of my fancy donuts, dude? Even if the police officer was a bad guy, he is way too close to use the sticky stun bun on. Okay, well he he is a bad guy. I don't think that's the best use of the sticky stun bun. I don't see anything I need to bust with rust there. Did I miss something? Am I not cracked? Yeah, I don't need the night vision mint, so. Oh, here we go. We're gonna drug the cop. This should create some excitement for our boy in blue. I'd better toss it outside. I don't want to disturb the donut maker. He's literally in here stealing donuts from people. Oh, people having fun. <laughs> What's that? Better go Officer, kill him. I do believe some hooligans have started a laugh riot out in the streets. Hooligans? Laugh riot? Well, I'll just see about that. It's bad. Okay, we got the donut from Officer A Cab. Okay. What? Going here, going up. Give me the donut. Okay. Give me that tapioca. One delicious, if not nutritious, brown gravy glazed donut. Jolly good. Okay, we need the tapioca for said donut. There's probably shit we can still do down here, to be honest. Snail, hot dog, mask, flour, fork. I need to. Let's go, baby. Okay, we can't get in there because the thing is blocked by that crazy lady who needs a code. But I think we're good for South America. Going to my favorite continent, Street. 
Wait, we have the key card. What the fuck am I doing? What have I been doing? Let's go, baby. Okay. I need to give you the tapioca. Here you are, Pia. Fresh tapioca. Give me that donut. I was destined to be the reigning baroness of beauty. Even as a child, I knew how to accessorize. As a teenager, I started experimenting with making my own blush and sunscreen. All of which were far superior to the major brands. And from there, Poodles could not be stopped in her rise to the top of the cosmetics world. She was there to take advantage of every major cosmetic catastrophe. The compact crash of 97. The Bay of Polish in 98. But now she has gone too far. What will happen when Poodles' arsenal of aerosol breaks through the ozone layer? Everyone will either base themselves with my SPF 2001 sunscreen or broil like lobsters. As they say, live and let fry. Okay. Well, that was our checkpoint, I'm assuming. We got the donut. It's the ingredient. Okay, now we just need chickle, so we need to get that key code from that. I'm in the cosmetic. Miss Galore just comes up the cow with a combination. Luckily, we have a device to listen through glass. My ear is working. Those guards are coming through loud and clear. Mr. Lorisher comes up with wacky combinations for the safe. Here we go. Key to the rocket ship. Here we go. A comforting elbow cream and a combination for a safe. Whatever happened to good old numbers? Well, this. Oops. My. Are you okay in there? The makeup they're testing on me is really making my poor. I don't suppose you would know what the hair of the day is. The hair of the day is a blue mullet, accented with a delightful butterfly accessory. Got it. Blue mullet. Wow. That's great. Where's my mullet? There it is. Those Blue mullet. Butterfly accessory. Where is it? There's a rake. Is that the butterfly? I'm guessing that's the butterfly. Give me that. I think I'll make Give me the hair of my dreams. I oh, we're Gucci. <laughs> My mm. Sticky grenade. Quack sticky stun bun has more than flower power in it. <laughs> the sticky stun bun worked. Quack's caramel coated confection has left those guards stuck. It's the safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I just need to... That crazy combination worked. This rocket ship is locked up tight. We got the key, dude.
We have... I've got to stop that ozone eradicator. I'll deal with poodles galore after I've dealt with the aerosol. We don't have the thing. E I think I'll... I'd like the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu, please. Blue powdered pussycat shadow. I'm sure that's some kind of code phrase. I'm going. Blue powdered pussycat shadow? What? I need. Listen to me, you nut. What are you going to do after you get your PhD? I have a research position like There's got to be something to do with this, man. The heat of the mission is on, and I'm cooking. What kind of... Please stand by. Have you talked to Pins the informant yet, Spy Fox? Not yet, Monkey Penny. You said she's waiting for me in the dessert? Not the dessert, <laughs> Spy Fox. Toxic. Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you when I see you, Alex. Oh, dude, Pins. You're looking sharp, Pins. Ah, it must be 120 degrees in this cactus disguise. Keep your cool, Pins. What hot tip do you have for me today? Spycor intercepted this gadget from one of Poodle Salor's goons. It's a digital makeup compact. We think it's used for deciphering code phrases. Press the eye shade button and it will display the proper counterphrase. Ingenious. And it has all. Let's go. We got the counterphrase. That means we can go back to the lake. Where's the stuff? Cosmetic counter code phrase compact. Blue powdered pussycat shadow. Pressing that button act scratch when slighted. Scratch when slighted. Here's the amulet. Be careful it doesn't fall into the wrong. Okay, crackpot, I'm out. I think I. We have it with us, dude. Boom. The amulet. Roll that. No missing ancient amulet or mythic hieroglyph code can keep this spy out. Blades may be sharp, but I've got the edge. Have a dose of Quack's Rust Buster, you bad blades. Quack's Instant Oxidizer. 
that rope is attached to the gate that is holding the the sooner I If this wasn't a spy toaster, I would never be placing anything other than a piece of bread into it. Ah, uh, good old spy liability. I am a spy, so here goes. At last, I have my piece of chicle. It takes more than an ancient civilization to outwit spy... Uh-oh. Indiana Jones. That was close. Back on Poodles Galore's Aerosol Space Station, we find she has called a meeting with the highest muckety mucks of the cosmetic industry. Sable Keen, the top boss in blush. Mary Eyeliner, winner of the 1999 Smelly Award for the perfume, You De Pew. Thank you for coming, darlings. I invited you here today because together you represent the cover. I mean, the cream of the cosmetic world. But now, you are to become the cosmetic supplier to the stars! Oh, it's so nice to have those perfume posters out of my pink poodly hair. Now I can get on with cosmetic domination! Hmm. What made you decide to go into the field of gumatology, Trudy? I'm fascinated by all the gum flavor possibilities. I want to start my own brand of meat flavored gum. Trudy's double meat gum, I'd call it. Gummy meat goodness, eh? Got the thing. The hardest part of this was getting the here damn thing to get up here. Pushpin. Ah, the chickle. Its gummy quality is vital to the congeal. Yes, yes, yes. What are you going? It's the ingredient list for push. I still need to get pushpin the APD or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol. Okay, should be fairly easy to do. Talk. Skip all this. A P D. That must stand for. A okay, we got it. Let's leave. Go back in here. Go back up. What made? We have the number now, so. Here is the aerosol particle diameter number you wanted, Pushpin. Straight from the orbiting aerosol can itself. Excellent, Mr. Spy Fox. That is... Okay, cool. We've got the piece. Let's go back over here, back over here, now, back over here, back over here, I've back inside it. here. Chuck the pill in. Poodles galore, your dog day of ozone depletion has departed. What? No, I don't think so. Spy Fox, you and idiot. You're good at bowling either, darling. Just who are you anyway? Fox. Spy Fox. And in the name of Spy Corps. I hereby place you under spy arrest. Not today, Foxy. I must warn you that I'm an expert in cockadoodle food. Yeah. 
brat. That field network. I used to play the band. I'm going. Maybe there's something in Quack's Swiss spy knife that will get me out of this fine mess. Uh, maybe I can use the toothpick to pick my way out. Well, that leaves the chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through solid steel. I hope they work. That did the trick. Now I need to get back the... Dude, the pill's just in there. You almost blew it because you do it. I need to talk. This time I'll keep my actions to myself. Yes. Hill? Uh oh. How do you like them apples, poodles? You fool! The aerosol is highly unstable. The whole thing is gonna blow! He's lucky he's got good health insurance after that one. I can't let Poodles get away. A crazy villain like her should be behind bars getting the best rehabilitation my tax dollars can buy. Not so Stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey Penny. Say, you look like you're in a mess. That's the super mess, Spy Fox. I'm right outside the moon base, but I can't get through the force field. I'll deactivate that force field just as soon as I can. I have to get in first, then figure out the... I need to stay hidden from that guard. After all... This is the keypad that controls the door to the control room. That was close. I'll use sneaky spy maneuver number 37. I need to figure out this code so I can get into that control room. That didn't work. That's the right one. What are you talking about? Oh. Starts with yellow. Okay. I'm sure this code won't be hard to crack for a code cracking spot. That will Let's go, baby. Okay. This looks like an Okay, we need better nail pattern which There's we don't. There's a room with process. a surveillance monitor over there. Think I'll do a little sightseeing. Spy Interesting. That switch didn't seem to do it. That switch must. Now to shut off the. 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 Puff. Oh, ow, ow. Don't make me. Ow. Okay, well, that fucks me up, so. That controls the transporter on the walkway. Okay, pressing that button does literally nothing. Maybe if I'm real careful. <sighs> that we probably need whatever perfume this is. Looks like bread. 
That perfume bottle fits perfect. Let's turn this off. Based. Okay. These buttons scroll through the different serv. He's making me sleepy. Ah, uh, red with yellow moons. I need to use the with. This allows me to pick which color to paint my yellow that painted my fingernails, and they look pretty. Let's go, yellow. baby. There we go. Now to muzzle that poodle for good. Monkey Penny, the force field is down. Stick him. Copy that, Spy Fox. We're in there like swimwear. Hey, that's my... Oh, never mind. What? What is going on? Who's that chump that turned the force field off? I'm that chump, poodles. You again! This time I'll take care of you myself! I must warn you that I am an expert in cock a doodle poo. Not so fast, poodles. My nail! My nail! Oh, oh pretty big piggly wig! Gotcha. <laughs> Monkey Penny, it really wasn't necessary. I was using the spy play possum maneuver. Sure, Spy Fox. Would you believe the limp biscuit maneuver? Mm -hmm. Limp How biscuit. The dead fish maneuver? Mm -hmm. Here, have some hard candy. Spy Fox, for your super spectacular deeds of daring do in destroying the orbiting Edison can and capturing that pernicious poodles galore, I present you the really big award of stupendous merit. Thanks, Chief. Now what are you going to do? I think I'll take a vacation. I'm dog tired. Let's go. We can print this out, too. If we wanted to. Restart. No. I want to quit. Okay. That's uh that's it for Spy Fox. Uh, yeah. Spy Fox 1, 2, and 3. They are for sale on Steam and are dirt cheap. I would highly recommend them. Um, if you are going to be any sort of inebriated or if you have a kid that might want a puzzle-solving game. I played these a lot when I was younger and I really like them. Um, there's... Two to four, I think it's, I want to say there's like two or three things for each thing, but there might be a fourth uh, as far as different key items and stuff that involve uh, playthrough and stuff. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Um, I want to do a couple more of these like retro games and maybe do most of them in a series if possible. Like we did three today in about four hours. So potentially something like that, but um, yeah. Uh, as always, this video will be on the uh, YouTube channel, so feel free to check that out. I would appreciate uh, any attention on there. Uh, the link can be found in the description, and if you're not following the Twitch channel, I would also very much appreciate that. But other than that, I hope everyone had a good time. Um, if you haven't played this, again, check it out. It's got to be like five bucks, if that. Um, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.